When someone hurts us or walks away from us, we believe that strength is showing that that didn't hurt us, or strength is getting over that faster than they got over us, or whatever it is. We struggle with, why does it hurt so much? And so I started that by saying the, the few words before that, it hurts because they meant something to you. It hurts because you saw a future with them, because you shared memories with them. Of course it's going to hurt. And you should never ever pretend to be okay with being mistreated, with being lied to, with being treated as if you never existed in that person's life. Not being okay with it doesn't mean that you're weak. It means that you are actually using your emotions. No human would not react to someone treating them badly. When you let them go, you don't just lose your partner. You lose all the plans you had together, all the hopes you had for the future, and more importantly, you lose your best friend. And that's why it's so sad. It's not just about missing them. It's about changing your life so that it works without them. And if you feel broken right now, just know that that's okay. It shows that you cared. And it shows how much of an impact they made in your life, whether it was for good or for bad, it's going to shape you into the person you're going to become. Take some time to rediscover who you are outside of that relationship but that's okay it's completely normal and you've got this it's all part of the process so when something continuously hurts it's it's that kind of pain where you're fine throughout the day and then the nighttime starts to come and that pain starts creeping up and it's like it's this cycle of I'm fine and then I'm reminded and I wake up in the morning and I'm like today's a new day I'll be fine and then at night I'm reminded. It's because I haven't fully given myself permission to say, I am going to radically accept, radically accept. And by that, I don't mean I'm saying it's okay that it happened. I'm just saying it happened. I'm validating that it happened. Maybe I wasn't okay with it, but I understand that there is absolutely no way for me to go back and reverse it or change it. I accept that it happened. I accept that there was nothing different I could have done about it at the time. And I accept that it is my responsibility from that moment to now to come closer to myself in a way where I'm not blaming myself or judging myself for having gone through that if somebody says that they don't want you let them go if somebody says that they no longer want to be bothered with you let it be and let it go because if it is yours it'll come right back to you now it's hard for many to do this because they're obsessed. But when you're obsessed, you give another person the power to oppress you. Mm -mm. Never give somebody that much power. Rule number 25. Silence is the best answer to someone that doesn't value your words. Sometimes the kindest thing you can do for someone is to stop giving them your kindness because what you're teaching them by your unconditional kindness is you can treat me like a piece of garbage and I'm still gonna be overly kind to you I'm still gonna be giving and caring and treat you as if I am reciprocating something great that you're giving me which is the complete opposite so the kindest thing I can do for you is stop giving you my kindness Maybe you will learn a lesson on your own that you can't speak this way to people. You can say, kill them with kindness, be kind all the time, which I, I say that all the time, but your kindness sometimes is stopping your mm -hmm. kindness with them and give it to someone else. Give it to yourself. I am never going to put the same energy to someone like I did for you. 
I spent countless hours during nights thinking of what I could do to make myself better for you. I wanted to show you how much I care about you and the love I can offer. But them same nights slowly started turning into darkness. I started overthinking. Am I not good enough? Will I ever be enough? Am I just being used to heal them from their past? But the overthinking was right. You showed me how easy it was for you to forget about me. Like nothing ever happened and I never existed. All I ever wanted was for you to feel like you mattered and that your existence has an impact. But clearly you didn't appreciate me enough. And because of that you have changed me forever. I will never give the same love to anybody like I did to you. All I ever wanted was pure good intentions but it was never enough. I still wish you the best but from a distance. But what you did to me is unforgettable. And for that I thank you for the lesson you have taught. Goodbye.